you're welcome to my channel uh, we are still on topic two business statistics which is called data collection yeah and in this video under data collection we shall be looking at sampling yeah sampling refers to the process of selecting a sample from the population yeah a sample refers to a set of observations that is selected from the population so the process of selecting a sample is what we call sampling. Yeah. Now let's look at the reasons for sampling. Why do people use samples instead of studying the whole population? First is that it reduces costs. Because studying the whole population can tend to be expensive. Then to save time. To study the whole population, let's say the population of the whole of Uganda, it can take time than studying the population of only the people in Kampala. Yeah, so it saves time. Then accurate data. Accurate data, when something is small, you can easily get accurate data than when something is big. Yeah, then quality. They believe that when you use a sample, you can easily get quality data than when you study a population, the whole population. Yeah. Let's look at the disadvantages of sampling. The disadvantage of sampling is that the selected units may not represent, may not be representative of the population, even when the best statistical methods have been applied in investigation. Where sampling will lead to destruction of the sampled unit, there is no alternative than to sample. Yeah, so you you may choose a a sample that is not representative of the population like instead of you studying the whole the whole uganda you decide to only study kampala you use kampala as your sample kampala may not represent the whole uganda may not give you the information you want so it will lead to sampling errors ah. let's now look at the sampling techniques we have two sampling techniques and that is probability and then probability sampling techniques. Yeah, we shall first look at the probability sampling techniques. Here the sample selected depends on chance. Probability is chance. The sample selected depends on chance. It uses scientific measures. Iggy, you can be able to determine mean and standard deviation. Yeah, and under this, they, us they are usually used when the size of the population is known. We use probability sampling technique when the size of the population is known. So, under the probability sampling techniques, we have five methods, and that is simple random sampling, stratified sampling, cluster sampling, multi-stage sampling, and lastly, systematic sampling. Yeah. Then for nine probability sampling techniques, this is where the size of the population is not known and there is no scientific measurement and there is no element of chance. And under the nine probability sampling, we have three methods and that is snowball sampling, also known as chain referral. Then we have the purposive sampling and we have the convenience sampling. We are going to explain the sampling techniques in details in our next video yeah thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like comment share with your friends and watch my next video we shall be continuing with topic 2 business statistics